How to get to $10,000 per month online is the topic of this video. And to do that, I'm going to cover three points that I want you and I would like you to focus on so that you can get to that $10,000 per month. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, consider subscribing. Also, give us a thumbs up and be sure to drop your comments in the chat below. That way we know what other content you'd like to see in this channel. So very first thing that I want to look at is the vehicle, right? Is the vehicle that I'm in right now right and appropriate to get me to 10,000? Does it have the potential to get me to 10,000 and how, right? So this is very, very, very important. Now, obviously for me, you know, it's Amazon FBA. So when I first started, if you are interested in selling on Amazon, when I first started, you know, I also just like everyone else and probably some of you watching this video also wanted to make $10,000 per month. You know, and it started, you know, I, I guess I can go into why I wanted to make 10,000, but it was just kind of a, a number that seemed like it was doable. It was, seemed like if I made $10,000, it would be like more than a lot of people, you know, a lot of, I would, I know that it would be a lot more than what most of my friends made. And it would be a lot more than what the average person makes in that six figures per year. That's great. You know, $120,000 per year. That's awesome, right? That's what lawyers and, and doctors usually make in their very first few years after have spent multiple six figures learning and, you know, almost a decade, right? So the vehicle for me, it's Amazon FBA. So the way I looked at it is, you know, how many products do I need to sell on Amazon for me to make that much? And, um, you know, how many units does each product need to sell? And number three, also, um, what is the price of that product, right? So there, you know, I guess this has A, B, and C. So first it's going to be, you know, how many products? And then it's going to be how many units each product? And then number three is what is the price? So for me, you know, from what I was seeing is that the average price of a product on Amazon was about $20, $25. So I just said, you know, for ease of numbers, I'm just gonna say $20 is the average sell price of a product. The second thing was how many units could a average product sell on Amazon? And to me, that was about 10. From all the videos that I had watched, it seemed like, you know, 10 units per day is average 300 units per month. That was doable. So then you multiply this times this, and then you get, what is that? Uh, $200, right? So this is $200 per day in sales. You multiply that by 30, and then you get $6,000. Okay, cool. So $6,000, that's not bad, right? So this is with one product. So I knew that in order for me to get to $10,000, all I needed to do is I needed to simply double that. Not really, but you know, I could simply double that. So then the other thing would be how many products. So that question is very simple. You know, you could do just for ease of numbers, say two, which would be times uh, 6,000 equals 12,000. So then I would make $12,000 per month in revenue on Amazon. Obviously, yes, that is revenue. That's not profits. And then from there, usually uh, an Amazon FBA uh, uh, business runs at about 25% net profit. You know, you sometimes some run at 35, some at 20, but on average, about 25. So you can just kind of do the numbers from there and then simply take this formula and then multiply it until you get to that number. But just if we were to look at a $10,000 revenue, you know, I need two products that sell for about an average of $20 per, per unit and sell about 10 units per day. Cool, so this was easy, I figured that out. All right, now supply chain, you know, what is, what is, the, what is the supply chain that I want to utilize in my business in order for me to make this happen and what was I willing to actually do? Now, again, if you're enjoying this video so far and you want to learn directly from BJK University so that we can walk you through the entire process, answer those questions for you and make sure that you avoid making as many, you know, as little mistakes as possible. Below this video, there is a presentation or a link to a presentation where we walk you through the entire process and show you how working with BJK University looks like. So be sure to check it out. So supply chain for me, when I was looking at Amazon, again, I can talk about other platforms, but I'm gonna talk about Amazon because this is what I do. So when I was looking at Amazon, there were two options. There was FBA and then there was FBM. Now, what do these stand for? FBA stands for fulfillment by Amazon. FBA stands for fulfillment by merchant. 
Fulfillment by merchant is where supplier ships directly to me or you know my associates. We store, and whenever a product is sold on Amazon, I am responsible for shipping it to the customer. FBA, however, fulfillment by Amazon is where my supplier ships directly to an Amazon warehouse. They store, they do the fulfillment, they do anything, prepping, anything that I need them to do. And on top of all that, they also do customer service for me. Now this costs anywhere between 15 to 25% of your sales. So between 15 to 25% of your sales goes to them if you, if you don't do that. For this, it's about 10 to 15%. Right? Just simply because you're doing the fulfillment, you're doing the storage, but you have to figure out storage. You have to deliver each unit to, obviously you're not gonna go deliver to the customer, but take it to the post office, all that stuff. I just wasn't interested in that, you know? I tried doing that in the beginning when I first started. It just, it didn't seem like it was a scalable concept. Maybe at one product sell on 10 units per day, maybe, if you're not really doing anything else or kind of, you know, have a part-time job. But if you want to scale to have two, three, four, five, ten products doing 20, 30, 50, 100 thousand dollars a month, it just didn't seem like it was a scalable concept. So I just decided to sacrifice a little bit of a profits and have Amazon do all that. Now understand, even after having FBA or Amazon fulfill everything for you, they them taking about 25% of your sales, you still can profit at least 20, 25%. So just understand that. Right, so that's the second part to this. Now the third part, which was the money and effort. How much money do I need to invest in order for me to accomplish this, you know, to get to this? And also how much time do I need to invest in order for me to make this happen? Now, I'm going to cover it briefly, but I have a video on my channel where I go through the entire breakdown of exactly how long it costs and or how, how much it takes and how long it costs. But let me just break it down to you guys here just briefly. Again, if you're enjoying the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel because we drop videos like this every single week and give this video a thumbs up. And do me a favor, please share this video with one more person that you might find or that you might think they might find this video valuable. So time and effort, I like formulas. I'm a simple guy. I don't like complexity. I get a little confused and I get frustrated if I have too many things that I have to work with. So things have to be very easy for me to understand and digest. So I came up with a formula that's worked for me all those years. And for the money invested is that whatever your sell price is, 25% of that usually is how much your product should cost, DDP, meaning manufacturing, shipping all the way to Amazon's warehouse is about 25%. So. If you were going to invest six, or if you were going to make $6,000 per month, you should expect to invest at least $1,500 in just product. We're not talking about everything that, that the product needs to become successful. I'm just talking about products itself, right? So this would be 25% of price or monthly sales. Okay, so example would be if price equals uh, $20, then um, cost equals $5. Or, so this is example one, example two is if monthly revenue equals $6,000, then cost equals 1500. Very easy, very simple, right? I like things to be very easy, very simple. That way I can understand and digest them. Easy numbers. I'm like, all right, cool. So now I need about 1500, probably another thousand dollars on top of that to do the launch and everything else. So now all I need to do is I need to find $5,000 to get to $12,000. Easy, right? Because each product will make me 6,000. I need about 1,500 to get the product. I figured I needed another thousand dollars to, you know, photography, launches, all that stuff. And I, again, I have another video where that breaks all that down. And then, so that was 2,500, right? Times two, because I need to launch two products. So this is 5,000. Great, 
So now all you need to do is you need to go find somebody that has 5,000 if you don't have it. And if you don't know how to do that, I have another video that talks about um, you know, what are the five things that I would do if I were to lose it all and I talk about how to go and get that 5,000, right? Very easy as that. Now the last thing is effort. What is the effort or the time that is needed in order for you to actually make this happen? So again, a small and short formula that I have came up with is to find a product, to find a product, it takes anywhere between, you guys see me here? Anywhere between 10 to 20 hours for research, right? So this is about 10 to 20 hours for research, about 10 to 20 hours for negotiations, um, about, I want to say about five hours for packaging, getting samples, all that stuff. Design, let's just call it design. Um, about another five hours for creating listing, product research, uh, uh, keyword search, all that stuff. And then the other, uh, the other one would be launching and all that. I want to say about five to 10 hours, right? Uh, let me see if I'm forgetting any. So product research, negotiations, um, design, and then this is going to be, uh, you know, design, keyword search, keyword search, uh, and then this is going to be a launch. So uh, let's just, I'm going to take the small, the, the least and then the most, right? So 10, 20, 30, so 35 to 20, 40, uh, 40, 50, 60, so 35 to 60 hours to launch a product, right? So between 35 to 60 hours to launch a product. Now, whether if you do that in a week or if you do that in two weeks, it's not possible to do it in a week because there's back and forth and negotiations and, and shipping and all that, you know. It'll take you at least one to two months for you to actually launch a product. Sometimes it can take up to three months, right? And I understand that some of you guys are like, well, I don't want to wait three months. Cool, don't wait. You don't need to. Unsubscribe from the channel. I'm here to tell you the truth as is not to make it look any prettier. Uh, I tell you what to expect. Usually when a student comes in and enrolls in BGK University, we give them a date. If they enroll today, three months from now, they should have their first product launched at Amazon. If you are not willing to wait that long, then BJK University is definitely not a great fit for you. And some of them wait until four, maybe even five months to launch product. But if, if you don't want to wait, just think about, you know, to make an extra $6,000 per month, what are you doing today that in six months from now will help you make an, an extra $6,000 every single month? Probably the answer is nothing, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this channel. Hope you found this video valuable. If you did, please consider subscribing, smash the thumbs up button, and also if you want to learn directly from us, check out the link below this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.